American Top 40. Now the hit by the superstar who once offered to pay $8,000 so she could go to the opening performance of a Broadway show starring her husband. Now that wasn't the price of the ticket. It's that she was the star of another musical play, and she offered her producer the $8,000 to get the night off. That's how much they figured he'd lose at the box office if her understudy went on. But the opening of her husband's show, Drat the Cat, was postponed for one night, which meant it would open on her day off. So she got to see the opening of her husband, Elliot Gould, and it probably didn't cost her more than four eighty dollars for a good seat in the balcony. With the number 27 song this week, Stony Inn, here's Barbara Streisand. Up to number 27 this week, Barbara Streisand, Stony End. This is Casey Kasem. We're counting them down. We got two big hours to go and 26 hits here on American Top 40. Stay right there. American Top 40. Barbara Streisand first hit the charts 10 years ago. Do you remember the song? It was titled People and Went Top 10. Her next hit was 1971. That went top 10 as well, Stony End. And this week, her third top 10 record ends up at number 7, The Way We Were. From 11 to 7, Barbara Streisand with The Way We Were. American Top 40. Now our AT40 Extra. A million seller by one of the most spectacular performers of our time. A superstar who was turned down when she wanted to move into an apartment in New York because she wasn't the right sort of person. Now, this artist had won all kinds of Broadway awards for her portrayal of Fanny Bryce. She'd won an Oscar for her very first movie. She'd been named Entertainer of the Year by the Friars Club, and she'd been greeted by royalty at a command performance of her movie in London. <laughs> but when she tried to buy a cooperative apartment on Park Avenue for a quarter of a million dollars, the other tenants weren't very cooperative. One was quoted as saying, we don't want flamboyant Hollywood types. Another one said, our place is a conservative family building and a quiet one full of bankers and lawyers. Well, at first, the artist considered making a formal complaint to New York's Commission on Human Rights, but she was really too busy to follow up. She had big movies to make, nightclub dates to fulfill, and songs to record. This was her first hit from 1964. Here's Barbara Streisand. People. An AT40 Extra, Barbara Streisand, and People. This is Jerry Bishop for Casey Kasem. Casey's Coast to Coast. Well, now on American Top 40, the current smash by the most successful female singer in the world today. A superstar who says that her first husband fell in love with her because she reminded him of his two favorite people, movie star Sophia Loren and former football great Y.A. Tittle. The singer and actress met her ex-husband when they worked together in the Broadway play I Can Get It For You Wholesale. That was way back in the early 60s. He was the handsome singer, dancer, and actor who played the leading man in the show. And she was the supporting actress who played the unloved and unnoticed secretary, Miss Marmelstein. Well, in spite of the fact that he was already much more successful than she was, the actor says it took a long time before he worked up the courage to ask her for a date. But when he finally did... The relationship clicked, and eventually they got married. They went on to become two of the most popular and successful entertainers in the world. He's movie star and former husband, Elliot Gould. And she, of course, is international superstar, Barbara Streisand. Her latest hit, a former number one smash, comes from one of the most popular motion picture love stories of the past few years. Dropping this week to number nine, here's Barbara with love theme from A Star Is Born. Barbara Streisand with a song that's become a classic. It's been in the top ten for 11 weeks, three of those weeks at number one. Love theme from A Star Is Born. We're eight hits away from a new number one record. This is Casey Kasem on AT40 in Hollywood. And now, a hit by one of the biggest superstars in all of show business. A star of stage, screen, television, and recorded music who has won more different awards than anyone else in entertainment. Yet, this star says she's always been afraid of performing and terrified of making wrong decisions. And it's that fear that's given Barbara Streisand her reputation as one of Hollywood's toughest ladies. 
But according to Barbara, that's just been a facade. She says, I've been frightened all my life, but I always had to be in charge. I was terrified of being on stage, terrified of forgetting lyrics, terrified of power. But now I figure that life is short, and I lived too long in terror of offending people, worrying about how I looked, how I was, had I been nasty. Now it's like becoming an adult. End of quote. That's what Barbara Streisand, one of the strongest women in show business, had to say about the part of her few people ever see. The frightened side of Barbara Streisand. Without a trace of fear in her voice, at number 19 this week, here's Barbara Streisand with the hit song, Fight. Barbara Streisand at number 19, falling from number 11. The former top 10 record is the main event, Fight. As the countdown rolls on, well, now we're up to the latest hit by the superstar with a super nose, who says she needs it to sing through. When Barbara Streisand was a teenager, she was under a lot of social pressure to have plastic surgery. She told an interviewer, it was like a fad, the girls at Erasmus High School in Brooklyn having their noses done, taking perfectly good noses and whittling them down to nothing. But Barbara wouldn't trust anybody to operate on her nose. And she said that later on she found out her nose has what they call a deviated septum. And that's what gives her voice the special Streisand sound. She said, if I ever had my nose fixed, it would ruin my career. Well, what Telly Savalas did for baldness, Barbara Streisand has done for large noses. This week, she debuts at number 39 with her latest, Kiss Me in the Rain. Barbara Streisand debuting at number 39 in American Top 40 with Kiss Me in the Rain. Next up, a comeback hit by the man who hit number one twice in the late 60s with Crimson and Clover and Hanky Panky. Look, it's from coast to coast. 